How's it going everyone? Back with another exciting EverQuestic adventure. Today we are on the Enchanter level 59. Um, my The Necro hit 60 a few weeks ago and I said, you know, it's time for the Enchanter because I do love the class as well. And she, he has been sitting at 58 for a while, so I said, okay, it's time. We're going to go for, we're going to push the Enchanter up to 60. Um, getting a little tired, burnt out on Howling Stones. I, even though it's still pr probably the best experience I'm at this level. Palm, you know, it's places I've just gone to so much, I want to try something new. So I said, what about Kanor's Castle? What about in the basement? How would that be if I was solo? So I've been messing around down there, and actually it's working out pretty good. I really like it, and I wanted to share the camp with you guys because you can totally solo it. Uh, it's, we are on 27-minute timers. Um, you can kill about eight mobs. Well, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mobs per cycle. It's still really good experience. It's something new. And another really cool thing that... Uh, uh, about that camp is you can get the VP key piece off of this one named that does have a chance to spawn. He's pretty tough, but he's totally doable. I died the first time I did it, but I think I have a pretty good strat. <laughs> yeah, I think I have a pretty good strat. So um, down now. So we're gonna and that strat is untested. So that's that's unconfirmed, but I'm pretty sure uh, he's a level. He's a 52 shaman that um, like summons and slows and all that crap anyways let's go ahead and get started make sure you're fully buffed up by the way for you aspiring enchanters wait until you get bedlam even though it's expensive it is a hundred percent worth it is so good i really like it i um i got it for seven thousand which is a good deal first thing buff up and then go ahead and get ivu up because we are going to be moving down to the basement and most things down there are um, undead, except for except for this one pather who, depending on where he's at, I might have to pass him. And yes, I'm in dwarf form because freaking barrel roll, man. Barrel roll, woo! Look at that. It's freaking awesome. So we're gonna sneak down here. Uh, hopefully, it's not too dark. We're going to sneak right here, and he should, he's probably up, okay, Ooh. oh, oh, crap, and he freaking aggro, oh my gosh, uh-oh, resist, okay, well that's not good, <laughs> I didn't think he'd aggro me from, from there, so, what I'll do is go ahead and pass him, and I'll just blur him. The Enchanter life, man. That guy, he gives me problems. He, he gives me problems. Resist. Oh, I think that was me resisting. Resist. Yes, it is. Now that should be good. Let me blanket them and then go. Let's get another mez going on. Resist. Okay, that should be good now. We should be all good. So, so let's get Ivy you back up because we're going to be going to this other room here. Hey, sometimes things happen, guys. <laughs> oh man. Yep, and the okay, they're blurred. Ivu is back up. Um, then we're gonna come right down over in here, and here is where we we set up camp. There are three here, and what in this room, and then over here there are three right here, one right here, and then one he's right here. He's in this little hidden wall here. So first thing we're going to do is I clear this room first. And right here... Um, sorry, it's my Discord, guys. It's going crazy. Uh, 
because I'm looking for enchanter spells because I suck and I'm missing so many. <laughs> so I'm I'm in the process of getting my my spellbook updated. Uh, right here in this corner, <clears throat> you will not get aggro from anything at this level. I'm not sure about lower level, but I know at 58, I wasn't getting aggro here. So this is where you can set up camp, and we're going to start off with a passy and passy this room first. So grab this dude here and hope for no freaking crit lulls because it does happen. Got that one. Let's do this guy in the corner. We'll tag that one and then clear this room. And this guy right here is the the placeholder for the named that pops. And grab this one. It's just fun down here. It probably because it's so much fun for because it's new. You know, I haven't done it a lot. All right, so we got them all passed. You know, before I do that, let's refresh my my bedlam because I did get hit a couple times back there. Come on, baby. And be sure to keep timers. Be sure to always keep timers. Uh, Tash up. And there we go. Boom. And pacify is just so awesome. It's like six or, or seven minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I like to do three at a time. There we go. Get him a little closer. Get Fetter on there. So Fetter, it replaces Paralyzing Earth. It's an awesome spell. It's a little cheaper on mana. And... Um, and it's pretty fast casting. So that was a very welcomed upgrade. Uh, let's go ahead and do my Earring of Blazing Energy. I actually farmed that earring on my Necro in Chardock. So we're going to pull him back a little bit because I want to keep these guys even. And usually with this camp, I usually have about five minutes after I kill everything to like met up and you know met up for take a quick break and stuff like that get back in there buddy and I don't haste or anything like that but the only time I will haste and give a torch is on the name pop because that dude you want to get him down as soon as possible What are we at? 79 for 71. 71. 75. I'm going to try to keep them as even as possible. And you, 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 you totally don't have to do three at a time if you're not comfortable. But I just think it's a little faster. Oh, I better pay attention here. Uh oh. Tom break. I almost messed that up. I don't think my nuke is cooled down yet, so I'm just gonna give him a fetter. Drop this guy. <clears throat> Boom. Let's go ahead and get these guys re rooted. Hopefully they're not too too far away from each other. Up. Uh, I already tashed. So I should not need to tash. Bam. Uh, I'll just, yeah, I'll do Bedlam. Bed, I, I just love this spell. Like, now if I'm in groups without healers, I'll totally haste my pets and stuff now. Okay, so what do we got here? We have 
55 and 60. They seem to be going fairly even. Oh, maybe. So I might have to toss on a slow here. I don't have my highest slow. No, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, you can also use your damage shield too. Which I totally toss it on if I... they Yeah. If I need to. But that looks good to me. Yeah, I was in Chardock and uh, I've been learning that place on my Necro and I freaking did this camp, got this to drop. It's awesome. It's such a good earring. What are we at? What are we at? What do we got here? 30, perfect. So we're going to go ahead. Uh, when they get a little bit lower, I'm going to throw on both nukes. Um, the big nuke does about 9% and the small one I think is like 4 Get up! Beat him up! But, guys, it sucks, man. All the higher level um, enchanter spells are, like, so expensive. Alright. They're, like, for the new slow, it's like 7,000. Yeah, it just sucks. Oh, come on. Get him down a little bit more. Come on, buddy. Get him down a little more. I don't have to nuke him. There you go. For uppercut him. Chum break. Let's go ahead and drop this guy. And there's also a couple dots too, which I don't know if they'd be worth using, but I'm gonna play with them. Like 15%, ugh, oh, that's so much. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that again. Oh crap, I gotta get my timer started. Here, my, here I am saying to use timers and I didn't even do it. What the heck? Yeah. Okay. So now, so my timers are probably going to be about a minute off. So let's go ahead and drop these. Get a lure up. We're going to need uh, bed limbs. Going to need to be refreshed in a second. So I'm going to get a little more mana. And then I'll go over to this room and pass you. And this room can get crappy, man. If you get a crit uh, passy fail on your, like, first one, it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. But every pass you get off, it reduces your chances of dying. <laughs> I've, yeah, I've died in there once because I got a crit lull fail on one of them. And then I got stun resist, and then that was it. I just got worked. They just beat the crap out of me. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that's going to be good enough. Close enough. Let's get some passies going on here, buddies. I'm going to start off with this dude in the back. Oh, yeah, because if you get one crit lull fail, then you pull all five. So, this is always the scariest part. Please! Oh, so that reduced my chances of dying a little a little more. I'll get this guy in the back. Resist. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, we got this. Not exactly what I wanted, Resist. but that's okay. Now we're going to get Tash up. This guy's going to get rooted. Tash this guy. Let's give it AOE Mez. I'm glad it happened on camera, though, because I've done it quite Resist. a bit, and it it's worked out good. And we're going to lure this guy. We're going to Mez him. I, did I root that guy? I can't remember. And then we'll pull him back here. Actually, three of them is not going to be bad. Wait, what? Where's my Where's my dude at? What are you doing? Oh, did I root him? 
Oh my gosh. Oh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Oh, guys, it's late. It's late. And I'm tired. So, you know what I want to do? I'm going to get a freaking damage shield on this, this guy. I don't, I don't like how low I am on mana, though. I'm going to tash him. I'll go ahead and tash him, too. Give me mana. Meditate. Oh, I got to meditate hard. Um, See, look at that. All three of them. I still have Bethlehem up. Yep. That's how awesome it is. And then what I'll do, I'll just use him or one of those in there to pull all three of those. Oh, actually, that should have been everything. Wait, was that all of them? I pulled three. No, I think I missed one. So that's good. That's good. I'm glad I didn't get all of them. Get him, buddy. Get him. How we doing here for 43 and 52? Um, hopefully that damage shield's gonna it's gonna get him caught up a little bit. I don't think so. I'll have to toss this low on. But but I don't want to toss it on too early. I like this camp. This camp's so much fun. Yeah, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> oh, oh, well. See, with Necro, you can control the damage, like, fairly easily. With, you know, dots and stuff. It's pretty cool. The Fetter on the Kailong is at 116. I'm going to go ahead and root this dude again. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if I rooted both of them. I might have. Did I? Oh, I did. Yeah, freaking dummy. Uh, the Kai Long. Let's get him rooted again. Take this off. I'll get a small nuke up. About three or four percent. I'm gonna drop. Tom break. Drop some stuns, nuke them down. My bedlam is off. I want to get that up immediately. That guy's at 7%, so one dementia should take him down. Come on, bedlam. There we go. One dementia. I am really low on mana, though. Really low on mana. There we go. Take this off. Let's get a lure. Let's get Tash up. Whoops. Like, oh, so that guy... Okay, so that pulled everything but him and him. Okay. I would like a little more mana. But... So how much time do I have left here? I still have, like, tons of time. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to give myself a little bit of time. And I'm going to pass you this dude. And then we'll do... Get my invis up? Let's see if it... And we'll see if it blurred him. He's blurred. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and met up a little bit. Because um, we still have 19 minutes. Um, yeah. So I'm going to met up. And then we'll go ahead and take those other three down. Again, it's not like optimal. It's not like Howling Stones. But it's something different. And it's been fun to have to learn something again. You know, instead of just... Jumping Howling Stones and just autopilot through it because I've done it so much. So sweet. Let's go ahead and pause it now. Okay, here we go. Close enough. 
enough. I bet it up for a little bit. Let's go ahead and drop some passes on these guys. Let's get another freaking crit resist. <laughs> it does happen, guys. I've done it quite a few times, and it's been safe, but it does happen. And another thing about kind of giving yourself a little bit of spacing in between each kill so that you don't just like get like back-to-back -back pops. I'm going to come over to this dude here. Let's pass him. All right. There we go. There we go. Let's get Tash up. I'm going to go ahead and get this guy. And it's a pretty good experience. I think I think I started here uh, at 4%. So just the, those few kills right there got me 2% at 59. I think that's decent. Now I'm going to do all three of them. At the same time. Okay, so, so that one back behind that wall, he did get pulled. Okay. So I can just go like this. Let's get these guys rooted. Get them all tashed. Go ahead and get a, a damage shield up on my guy. I hope I pulled him back far enough. Eh, maybe not. <laughs> That's okay. If not, then... Yeah, I should have pulled him back a little bit more. Alright, let's go ahead and get small nuke up. Almost. A little more. A little more. Tom break. I might need to be a little bit lower. We're going to find out here in a minute. I don't know if he'll die at 5%. If so, I'm just going to root him real quick. Got him. Yeah. Go ahead and get this guy. Now, I don't know if it's if he's close enough. Oh, gosh. Tom break. Nope. So, if you ever do this, j just get out your Pillage of Enchantment and dispel the root. No big deal. Whoops. Press the wrong button. Dang it. Look at that bedlam. Oh, crap. I fizzled that. Oh, no. I might have waited a little too long before I casted a lure. Oof. Let's get another root up on this dude. And we're cruising again. And again, the decayed Kylong XR, he is the placeholder. Let's get that bedlam up. <clears throat> it's definitely different than my Necro on the Mana Regen. Yes, I know I have C2 and all that cool stuff, but the Necro Regen quite a bit faster, obviously. Let's refresh that bedlam. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get a damage shield up. Because he's a little bit ahead. We will see if he catches up. If not, then I'll go ahead and toss a, a slow on it. Get him, buddy. And how much time do I have? So... I'm probably going to have about eight minutes left. Uh, I can move into the hallway too and grab some of those. What do we got? What do we got? 51. But usually I just do these rooms right here. Yeah, let's go ahead and slow them. And it, if you're not into getting a VP key then you can totally MQ it. They sell for like 5k a pop. And if I don't get it in this video, which I'm probably not going to, then I'll make a separate video on uh, how to kill that guy. I think the next time I will root him and then I'm going to mana sieve him so, so he has no mana, then dispel 
because he hates himself, and I didn't know that. <laughs> but he hates himself, and uh, what what got me is when he slowed my pet. And my pet, he just couldn't keep up. And then I got some bad RNG, like always. Get him, buddy, get him. Yeah, what are we at? About nine minutes. So now I'm going to have time to met up up to full and for good, like go for it again. Dude, you got to start doing some freaking fat for uppercuts there, dude. Front kick him. It's a lot of freaking mana. It's going to take a lot of mana to get this guy down. I wish I had some of those dots. I mean, I don't know. You know, there, there's a couple high-level dots that, like, I haven't found yet. Tom Drake. Let's go ahead and get this guy down. Uh-oh. Resist. I don't like to do that because it, it might freaking blur him. Oh, it did blur him. <laughs> God dang it. Oh. Oh. That's the only thing about the low-level mezzas. They're totally awesome, but you can totally blur them when, when you don't want to. It seems like when I want to, I don't, and when I don't want to, I do. Perfect. Now we'll get this guy down, and then I'll go met up. And you get there's some decent drops down here um, as well. I've gotten quite a few Parados. Um, you get some of uh, the clicky race armor, like I've gotten one for Druid or for the Bard. That one went for like well, a 400 platted vendor. You get the fine steel great staffs. They they sell for for six plata pop. But that's kind of it in this camp. Again, it's not like ideal. It's not like like amazing experience how Howling Stones is, but it's fun. It's uh, I already got the piece for the the VP key already, but still, it's a good place to come camp here and and get your VP piece so you don't have to do it at 60 and you know or whatever and it's not a bad experience that's fun it's something new but my next stop is going to be Velks I want to go into Velks and learn how to do that too and I want to show videos on that and obviously there are more places in here but this one is the most challenging for me anyways it was fun to figure out but other than that guys I have what do we got? We got for six minutes on timers. That's perfect. I'll freaking met up the full and do a couple more rounds. But yeah, I just want to show this place, you guys. Hope you guys liked the video. Like and subscribe and all that stuff. I know it wasn't the most exciting, but I just want to show you what I'm doing. Um, and the basement can totally be soloed. Probably on a Necro too, quite easily. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're having a good week. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you're having a good year, everyone. Please be safe out there because the world is going bonkers. And that is it for me. Peace.